Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and this is UDM Pro Complete Setup Part 10, where we're gonna be talking about Unify Protect Live View and Time Lapse. Yes, we are finally getting into actually viewing these cameras in a useful way. Here we are at the dashboard of Unify Protect. One thing that I did did want to point out since I've actually, you know, have days and days of footage now since I hooked up all of these cameras, look at the storage utilization. So I'm at 100%. This will help you gauge the storage utilization for your own device. I have four cameras, one 4K camera and three 1080p HD cameras. And my entire storage capacity is just under a week. Okay, so keep that in mind. With my one terabyte drive that I have in the UDM Pro, four cameras, one's 4K, three are HD, I get about a week worth of footage uh, given sort of the default camera settings that I have set up. Of course, that's going to vary more or less depending on your record uh, recording quality uh, as well as the frames per second and stuff like that. But by default, you're looking at about a week per terabyte for four cameras. Okay, so let's move on to the live view. And the live view we can find over here on the left-hand menu. When we click on live view, we get a default live view that basically shows us however many cameras we have connected to Unify Protect. In my case, I've got four cameras connected, so we can see a four camera live view. And we have a few options up top. We can include some views that other users have set up if we like. Here we can see the default view, which will allow us to change the view once we actually have more than one view. Uh, we can see that this view is shared with others, and then we can also pop that into full screen if we like. So of course, popping the view into full screen means that you can have a dedicated monitor for a Unify Protect live view, or you can use the Unify Protect viewport, which is a great little device to take one of your pre-configured live views and output it via HDMI to an external television or external monitor. It's actually how I have my cameras up on this TV that you cannot see just off the screen here, uh, right above my head. So I've got one of the HDMI inputs on this television is the Unify Protect viewport, and I have a view set up on that viewport where I can keep an eye on the cameras around my home office. Okay, so now let's say we wanna set up our own view. We're gonna click Add View, and then we can give our view a name. We're gonna call this maybe like external cameras, for instance. So this might be a view of cameras that are just on the exterior of your home or office, and we'll choose the four camera view. You can also choose whether or not we're gonna share this view with other people who have logged into Unify Protect. So we're gonna say next. And the next thing we do is drag and drop cameras onto the view where we want them. So we have our bullet, our dome, our G4 Pro. And one of the other things that you can do is actually drag multiple cameras onto a single frame. This is very, very helpful if you have cameras where you want the view to change based on motion or on a time cycle, right? So notice we put the G3 Flex and the G4 Pro in this upper left-hand box. Then we have the option, let's cycle the view to one or the other camera based on motion that's detected. So if a motion event happens, it's gonna flip to whichever camera has that motion event or we can just cycle on time. And when we cycle on time, we can choose how long between the minimum of six seconds and the maximum of, I think it's 60 seconds. Yeah, so anywhere between six to 60 seconds. So in my case, I'm just gonna set it to cycle on motion for this upper left-hand box, and we're gonna click save. And notice at the top now, we have a dropdown that shows a new view. So we still have our default view if we want, we now have this external cameras view that I just created. So the live view is a really good part of Unify Protect to get to know and love, especially if you're going to be training others on how to use Unify Protect. Most of the time, people that are using Unify Protect are going to be staring at one of the live views that either they created themselves or that you created for them. So get to know the live views very, very well and set them up based on the needs of your organization. Oh, here we have a car coming down the street. Let's see if we get any cycle on motion event here. It's a good looking car. It's like a hot rod. Oh, it stopped. Maybe it's going to do a burnout down the street. Yep, there we go. See, it cycled on motion, 
It changed to the G4 Pro once the G4 Pro registered that motion event, and now it just flipped back to the G3 Flex. Okay, next let's talk about uh, detections. Now, detections is basically just a quick way to reference any of the events that have happened. That's going to be your smart detections, either your vehicle-based or person-based smart detections, or standard motion events. And you can see which one's which based on these icons down here, right? So this is a motion event icon. This with the little person is a person icon. And then if it's a vehicle detection, you'll actually see a little, like sort of the front view of a car uh, as the icon next to the type of detection. And if we click on any of these events, click on the play button in any of these events, it'll show us what the motion was. And here we can see in this case, if we click highlight motion, it's gonna show us where this view detected motion. So it detected this car driving by and it detected whoever that guy is riding his bike past the frame. You can also change the playback speed, enable or disable the sound, uh, take a snapshot, put it in full screen or download this clip directly to your hard drive. We can also filter on the different type of events. So if I click display options, we can say all detection types, or maybe we just want motion detection, a doorbell press, so a doorbell ring, a person detection or a vehicle detection. And then we can also filter on which camera. So for instance, here we can see me going to the mailbox earlier today. And what you're gonna see is a little box around me to indicate that this was a person detection. There we go, you can see the little purple box surrounding me as I put a mail in the mail slot. Okay, finally, let's look at time-lapse. And time-lapse is a really, really great feature of Unify Protect. It's this little sort of clock icon with the backwards arrow. Time-lapse allows you to go back through the history of a recording or scrub back through the history of any recording. So for instance, I'm gonna click on my G3 Flex camera here. And once it loads in, I can grab this timeline with my mouse, as in click and hold the timeline, and I can scrub back through time. And notice you can see cars driving by, you can see trees swaying in the wind, and all of the blue dots down the side are different detected motion events. So here we can see like when the mail person showed up, right? That's a motion event, and I can scrub through and I can see very easily that the mail truck was there for a little while. So when you stop scrubbing, wherever you stopped, it's just gonna start playing the footage from that point forward. And if you wanna zoom in on the timeline, you can also zoom in to sort of get a more granular view of exactly the motion that you're looking for, such as when the male person showed up and then took off. Down below is a list of all your cameras so that you can switch between the different cameras that you're doing the time-lapse for. Then we have our playback speed, mute, unmute, take snapshot, download clip, or delete footage. Now, if we say download clip, this allows us to take these icons in the timeline and stretch them for the exact size clip that we want. And this is where zooming in and out comes in really handy because you can get super granular on how much of the footage you actually want to download as your own sort of customizable clip. So I zoomed in a little bit, I can pull this up like so, and if I just want to catch just when the mail truck showed up to just when the mail truck left, there we go, I can squeeze it in like this and it looks like from 2.35 p.m. to 2.38 p.m. and then I can just click download. So generating one file, and then we can see that I have downloaded an MP4 of that specific time frame, uh, and I just absolutely love, love, love this feature. Now, when you're ready to go back to the live view, all you have to do is click this blue up arrow in the bottom right-hand corner, and it brings you all the way back to the live view. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for more videos just like this. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about Unify Protect users and roles and how to set up different views for your different users. All right, we will see you guys in the next video.